hey hi friends welcome back to bahu automation lab once again in the last video we have seen how to create this project and uh, how to create this step definition file how to create this packages and uh, how to create this feature files with the feature atm transaction and uh, scenario with withdraw cash from the atm right uh, we have also seen how to convert this project into the cucumber project so i'll recommended you to watch more previous two sessions and come to this third session of keep cucumber bdd framework okay so in this video let's understand what is mean by practically understand this what is mean by exactly this feature keyword what is this language is like a gurking language what is mean by exactly this scenario and uh, what is the given when and and all these keywords and what is this text everything will understand the practically here in the eclipse itself so we'll get better idea when to use this and how to use this exactly okay so let's start with uh, the first of all let's understand this feature files is written in the gurking language what is mean by this gurking language so let's understand this first what is mean by this gurking so gurking is user friendly language used to describe the behavior of the system in the simple plain text we have already seen this uh, concept in the uh, theoretical part right so this is the plain text right we have written like simple plain english text key uh, feature is what, uh, what is transaction uh, what is a feature is atm transaction scenario is uh, withdrawal cash from atm and this all these steps right so it's a simple plain english text okay so gurking language is in the simple plain english text and it has a standard structure that's make it's readable uh, for a both business and technical people right so as we have know the bdd stands for behavior driven development and uh, it's we have already seen in theoretical part like it has been standard structures right so it's readable for both business people they are non technical people and the technical people also understand this language easily if you read this is it is a simple english like a feature atm transaction withdraw cash from atm i have account with a balance of rs 50000 like that it's uh, written in the very simple plain english so it can be readable for business people it means non technical people also and technical people also okay it helps to separate the business logic from the behavior uh, from its behavior and bridging the understanding gap between the non technical and technical uh, individuals like i have already explained like that it will written in the separate business logic like behavior uh, we can define in the and definition or implementation we are defining in the in the like a step definitions file and it's a simple readable uh, language so that it will remove the gap between technical and non technical people so business people also can easily understand this concept and non technical people also understand this concepts easily okay so this is all about the gurking language and the gurking language is defined in the feature file so it be very driven describe the gurking language only now let's understand what gurking is doing like gurking focus focuses on describe what a system does not how it does okay which is left for the dev developers or to implement for example gurking focus on describe what system is does means we have define here what system exactly does okay we are not implementing any part here or like um, uh, what when we click on this particular given statement it will redirect to the this step definition file okay so it means that ki what does exactly we are describe like like what describing the system does what system does it will uh, just that thing is Uh, like written here okay and the implementation part is re remaining for the development purpose or description purpose which is we are defining in the step definition file okay so that this is a business readable uh, they don't see the what is the implementation is there in the step definition file okay they just start and like in the report they just understand this plain english text and then understand what is exactly going on in the uh, what is exe execution is exactly going on in the system right so how it is does which is left for the develop developers to implement so as a automation 
engineer we need to develop this part in the step definition part what we have to do exactly there in step definition part we implement the things which is defined in the uh, feature uh, gherkin syntax now gherkin use Use, uses a set of keywords such as a feature, scenario, given, when, and then, uh, so that, uh, so on, to give the structural meaning. Structural meaning. For example, in this file, you can see these keywords like given, when, and, 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 then, and, and. So this will give you a structural way. Like, like a, when you under, read this, uh, like a text, like using these keywords, like I have account with the balance of RS fifty thousand when i insert the atm card and i enter my pin as a, this one two three four and i select the withdraw option and i enter the withdraw amount as a ten thousand then i should receive the rs ten thousand in cash and my account balance should be updated as a forty thousand so it's everything is explained in the simple uh using these keywords it, it will be described okay structural and meaningful like uh, when you any people from the non-technical background also you read it easily simple so gherkin is the way to express express the system behavior in the clear language okay making it it easier for everyone understand and collaborate effectively simple same same the concept is like it's a simple uh, thing will be described so that everyone can uh, system behavior can be understand by the everyone the technical and non-technical people business people also or also easily in the collaborate with effectively okay a, gher a gherking file defined by the dot feature extension as we know we have created this atm transaction dot feature file so that this is the gherking file and uh, it will be defined by uh, identify the dot feature extensions only we have written here like a dot feature extension so this is what about the gherkin okay so gherkin is the plain text which can be easily understand by the technical and non-technical people is the simple plain english text now let's understand what is the feature scenario step uh, uh, scenario what is uh, what is feature scenario step in the gherkin syntax uh, so a feature is the keyword that offers high level description of the software feature that's need to be developed or test for example here is the feature okay this is the feature keyword in the uh, practical way let's understand this is the feature and what we need to test or what we need to develop uh, the automation script uh, for this feature it will high level description of that particular uh, particular feature okay so software feature like example i need to develop atm transaction uh, feature here okay so we are doing that development in the atm um, step definition file right but it is a high level agenda of that feature what we are exactly automating like yeah here feature is the keyword defined like a high high level agenda like we are develop, uh, automating atm transaction system right so every gherkin document must start with the feature keyword without this keyword the document will not functioning expected for example every like we have defined this dot feature file and it's starting with the feature keyword itself if you remove this feature keyword okay it will not work as expected simple if i remove this key, key keyword from this uh, particular file it will not run like if you uh, try to run that side of the cucumber feature it will throw an error right simple so every feature file uh, should be start with the feature keyword like that okay and what is the feature in gherkin syntax okay so we are we are understand that what is the feature we are understanding the what is the feature in gherkin syntax and within that we are understand what is the feature now let's understand what is the scenario okay so scenario uh, explain the specific business situation or behavior of the system here we have uh, after immediate of the feature we are written one scenario like a withdrawal cash from the atm so scenario is the scenario explain the specific business situation on behavior of the system this behavior is directly derived from the requirements so whatever requirement you come into you this behavior or the scenario is directly defined from that particular requ requirement like we have a 
हाई लेवल एजेंडा इज आई टी एम ट्रांजेक्शन फीचर वी नीड टू डेवलप एंड इन दैट सीनेरियो इज विड्रॉल द कैश फ्रॉम द ए टी एम सो एज अ टेक्निकल ऑटोमेशन वर्ड वी कैन राइट अ मल्टीपल टेस्ट केसेस ऑन द वन सिंगल सीनेरियो राइट सीनेरियो स्टैंड फॉर वॉट एवर हाउ हाउ यूजर इज इंटरेक्टिंग विद द सिस्टम इन द रियल टाइम इन्वायरमेंट राइट सो Uh, as per the one system uh, one scenario we can write a multiple test cases right here so here is the high level high level uh, like a business situation behavior of the system and uh, behavior directly derived from the we will take that scenario from the requirement itself a scenario shares it's a title with a feature and also include the description like here we have a scenario and we can write a description also for this scenario okay there is a no issue related to this okay i have balance in my account okay you can write a uh, definition for uh, like you can write a description for that scenario as well in the system itself so uh, we can define the description for the scenario as well a scenario consists of various steps like including multiple given when and then and statements okay so we'll understand what is mean by this given and uh, when and everything but let's understand you one scenario having multiple steps like a given when and and then and whatever you want to write like um, etc so uh, i'll just remove that uh, description from here but we can write that description and we have a multiple step for one scenario using this keywords like given when then and then and everything it's good practice to keep a number of step definition steps between 5 to 8 okay so here we have seen like uh, for one scenario with withdrawal cash from the atm we have written given when 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 step right so in the one scenario it's a bit best way okay just keep it in mind that ki we can uh, return only 5 to 8 steps okay not more than that or it, it will lose uh, like um, uh, compatibility or like uh, readability of that particular scenario so it keep in mind only having like five to eight steps for one scenario only not more than th that okay a single feature can have multiple scenarios and each scenario should be keep in independent as recommended by the cucumber okay so we have one scenario here to withdraw cash from atm okay we can write uh, another scenario here as well like a check balance from atm balance from atm like like that and we have also same um, uh, same steps there like a given when like a given i have i insert the atm card and enter the pin like that Sim simple all these steps we have like we can write a multiple scenarios uh, for a one single uh, feature file right so this is about the scenario in uh, working uh, language and uh, in the feature file let's understand what is mean by the steps in the working syntax okay in the feature file so steps the steps in the scenario are written using the keywords like given when then and but and asterisk okay in the scenario okay so here in the let's understand in the practical way so scenario his withdrawal cash from atm and there is a steps like given when and 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 then and and these are the steps right we have written here okay these are the keywords using that keywords we are written the steps like i have account with balance res and i insert the card and everything like that uh, you can define the steps okay and cucumber execute the steps one by one in the order they are written like hey, example we have written here like a given i have account with balance rs50 so what well, in this sequence when and after that and after that and as per the line sequence uh, cucumber execute that steps okay and let's understand more about the steps for example using cucumber behavior let's understand cucumber identify the implemented step definitions uh, based on the written steps to execute for example uh let's go to here and i have uh, like i have one step like using this given keyword and it's like i have account with a balance rs50 and let's i press control and click on this so it will find that step definition we need to implement that step definition code here like i have account balance with the uh, rs whatever amount you need to provide so we are written all the step definitions here okay so as as per the uh 
identified okay cucumber identified that step definition based on the written step execute right so keywords are not considered when finding the step definition right example here if i write try to click on this given keyword it will not click right so it will only highlight the things whatever text we are written here okay the keywords this keywords will not get identified okay this keywords will not get considered okay it is not considered finding the step definitions it's only um, as per the this steps whatever text for that step you are written okay and cucumber use the regular expression to match step focus on the text on keyboard keywords whatever text we are defining here okay cucumber uses the regular exceptions right to find that step definition for that particular step where its step is implemented for example if i want to see this particular text uh, step text uh, step where it is implemented so i'll just so i'll just hover on that particular step uh, text and i will uh, directly uh, redact to the step definition of that particular text uh, particular test a uh, particular step right so cucumber not uh, recommend like i um, use this key keywords like given when and and the, to find that it will internally use the regular exception to find that step definition using this text only okay just keep it in mind now uh, let's understand if the text matches cucumber point the co corresponding step definition right here like when i click on this particular step definition it, the text is ge getting matches matching right Where, uh, how account balance should be updated in this like i should receive rs in cash okay so if i click on i should receive rs in cash so it will redact to the, that particular step definition so this is cucumber identified okay using that text text only not from that keywords and uh, find that corresponding step definition multiple step step definition for the same text are not allowed they will point to the same step definition okay this is a very important point guys uh, whenever you are doing the automation uh, we we can't write a multiple step definition for the same um, like same step you are written here for example in the second scenario also i have written like i have account with the balance rs Fifty thousand and first scenario also I have I written like I have account uh, with the balance RS fifty thousand, so no need to again write a step definition for this file uh, particular particular step right. If I click on this, I am rewriting to this step definition. If I click on this, I am also rewriting to the to the this step definition. If text is same, we not required to write or our step is same, we not step text is same, we not required to write the step definition implementation for every step still it's changed okay when text get changed then we need to write the step definition otherwise the same step de definition we can use for a multiple times in the scenario right so this is the most important part so multiple step definition for the same text are not allowed right so now uh, in the next uh, lecture let's uh, learn about keywords like a given when then and and but whatever keyword we have used in this feature file okay so if you uh, having any doubt related to this uh, part whatever we have learned here practically till time okay you just uh, ask me or comment out me that question okay so let's meet in next chapter till time have a great day bye bye take care